Athletes from around the country are in Lake Placid this weekend for the Ironman Triathlon, which starts on Sunday. Our Alec Lasham was in Lake Placid to see how recent poor air quality has affected the training and the overall tourism to the area. Recent bad air quality has affected towns and cities across the United States and Canada. In Lake Placid, where recreational tourism is popular, the recent bad air has posed a challenge for hikers, bikers, and lovers of the outdoors. I can feel it usually that night, and then, and then the next morning even, I kind of feel like maybe I have a cold a little bit like that. It kind of just gets stuck in the sinuses. Ben's Chad Pensiero describing how training feels when there is poor air quality. He is one of many athletes descending upon Lake Placid for the Ironman Triathlon that kicks off on Sunday. The town is known not only for its Olympic facility and triathlons, but also for hiking. Henry Liebers, who is with the Adirondack Mountain Club, says thick hazes can make a hike more difficult and less enjoyable. The views aren't quite as good. Um, you may be breathing harder. There's a dryness that feels different in the back of my throat when I've been up there on the really hazy days. He says as a result, hiking numbers are down by almost 25% on peak days. Normally this time of year, the High Peaks Information Center over at Heart Lake, they'll see, you know, wall-to-wall -wall people. And there have been some quieter moments on Saturdays this season. However, Jane Hooper, who is the communications manager at the Regional Office of Sustainable Tourism, or ROOST, says tourism to Lake Placid has not been affected by recent air quality. People who are traveling still have their plans in place and have been visiting all of the Adirondack towns. The towns are bustling this time of year, and that has held true this year as it has in previous years. And once they are in town, there isn't much that deters them from the scenic trails, according to Liebers. All we can really do is tell people to be careful and to um, you know, not overexert themselves if they start to feel lightheaded or, or seasick or anything like that. As for the upcoming triathlon, Hooper says the air quality is looking promising for the athletes. I think that, you know, right now our, our air is clear, the skies look great, and I think everybody's really excited for the event on Sunday. But if the haze does return, then Pensiero recommends taking precaution. Go slow, hydrate, get your nutrition plan right, but I would just say go slow and take it easy. In Lake Placid, Alec Lasham, Channel 3 News.